40 years in GMV. It's a real good experience. I remember, I was remembering yesterday about this because uh, when I'm in the company for almost 36 already, doing many things. And one of the experiences, the most interesting experience when, when we decide to diversify our activities to other, to other business. Starting from space, going to other things. And on this, I remember what we did for, for transportation and we did for, for the activities in the public transportation and others. What has been your, your views on the video? Because like me, you have been suffering also suffering with yeah. the brackets a little bit this, this experience. Yeah, Miguel Angel. Yeah, so, so I agree. I think diversification and uh, technology transfer has been uh, one of the main uh, vector growths for GMV uh, to reach the point where we are right now. And in fact, one of the most evident examples is uh, what has happened with the uh, intelligent transportation systems. So, yeah, it was around uh, the year 1994 or 1995 mm -hmm. uh, that uh, this expertise and this knowledge that GMV uh, had in uh, GPS, uh, okay, somebody thought that it could be very valuable uh, to be applied uh, with the specific differentiators that we could provide to the um, efficient management of uh, fleets of uh, public buses. And this is uh, how uh, this uh, activity started in GMV mm. uh, and see where we are now. We need to be very proud of this, yes. And I, I remember one thing was relevant by this time, it was the, the you, you say already, is the, the knowledge that we have it, the experience that we acquire in the GPS world. And we say GPS because by this time it was only GPS. And uh, I remember one thing was important, and this is why we decided, let's go, we need to do it. It's because we were really very strong manipulating the GPS signal. Things that probably nobody uh, remember is by this time the GPS signal was uh, in introducing an intentional error called mm. selective availability. Oh, yeah, I remember, yeah. Mm -hmm. This error was what doing is that the um, the, or the determination of the position of the, of the uh, vehicles, objects, or whatever, was introducing an error of around hundreds of meters. Then it was impossible to use it for applications with some responsibility, with some uh, requirements. Then GMV was strong doing what? Doing something that we developed on a, a technology called GPS differential, GPS, that was helping to reduce this error in several meters. Then in these conditions, this uh, application was, was valid, was perfect. And this is what we transfer. In fact, I think this, uh, okay, this happened, uh, okay, to start building uh, what uh, ITS is uh, today. And uh, all this knowledge uh, that was developed since then, I mean, related to hardware engineering, software engineering, communications, and so on, um, that, that was a key uh, to, to start our activity also in, in automotive, uh, that I know uh, right. quite well. Uh, when uh, the concept of uh, connected and automated driving started to be used, it was essential uh, to understand really how these kind of platforms, how the environments uh, which are applying to uh, road transportation uh, work. And uh, it was a key for us uh, to start uh, offering uh, what we could offer in terms uh, of uh, embedded software development, um, design and development of uh, electronic control units, because yeah. we had acquired this experience previously, mm -hmm. uh, okay, when we had to uh, really manage uh, all the different customers that we had already in yeah. public transportation. So yeah. uh, it has uh, also happened within uh, the, the um, market of uh, ITS or transportation yeah. itself. Okay. Just another point that you say now customers, the world customers, another important issue on this is to understand where are you going, but not from the technological point of view, but from the administration, the regulation, the type of customer that you will find the type of proposal that you need to prepare. The proposal that we were doing for the space was totally different from the proposal we did for the, uh, for the uh, activities in, in the public transportation or for the administration. Uh, we usually work in different sectors which are subject to very strict um, regulatory frameworks, standardization frameworks, which are not the same, yeah. even if they have got similarities somehow, uh, but they are uh, different and we have to learn how to manage that. And also uh, the platform, uh, the platforms themselves. Uh, I mean, uh, making a software run in a platform for, don't know, a plane 
Yeah. It's not the same as uh, doing that on a, on a car, uh, on a bus. for example, or on a bus. Uh, and now, right now, and you know very well, better than me, we are living uh, the high technology transfer, I would say, because what we are doing in the world of uh, autonomous uh, vehicle, again, is coming from a big experience in the, in the navigation systems. Now, I would say GNSS, now it's GPS plus Galileo on which we, we have been able to develop a high technology for very precise computations, and we, we have been able to transfer this, again, through the automation world. And this is Abs your, your, your yeah. do, you have, do know much better than me this. Absolutely, uh, and I think this has been one of the key milestones that we have lived, uh, okay, recently, in the previous years. Yeah. Um, this um, expertise that we have got in um, highly precise GNSS, but also um, safe GNSS, uh, I mean the concept of integrity, is a key for autonomous driving. Mm. Uh, autonomous driving involves uh, different levels of safety and uh, you also need uh, safe technologies. And in this sense, uh, really uh, transferring uh, all these uh, concepts that we had built uh, in other sectors, in satellite navigation, in, in civil aviation, mm -hmm. uh, to the automotive world, has been a key uh, to, to get some contracts, for example, of the most emblematic customers that we have uh, nowadays, such as the case of uh, premium OEMs uh, like BMW. So uh, definitely, uh, yeah, I think that we can, uh, okay, go and find in uh, again and again uh, different examples mm -hmm. on how this uh, diversification has helped us uh, grow along the years. Uh, for me, we need to continue. We, cannot, we need to continue, uh, yes, yeah. This, this yeah, is clear. Yeah. Well, for the time being, I don't know. I don't know what will be the next, next uh, technology that we will put in the market coming from space or even coming from the existing uh, sectorials already. Transportation can be, again, diversified. In, in new areas or new activities on what you are doing. But it's true uh, that this is something that we need to maintain. Diversification is, is a, 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 as other pillars that we have in the company, is one of the elements that help us to be where we are today. I mean, the fact of being present in different uh, sectors, in different markets, mm. because, uh, and, and this has been one of the consequences of uh, diversification, uh, in the sense that um, I think it makes us uh, more resilient uh, the markets where we operate are um, following different uh, cycles. Yeah. Uh, I mean, budgetary cycles or uh, engineering cycles. Mm -hmm. uh, and um, I think uh, in periods of crisis, uh, which uh, okay are cyclical, that's uh, that's a reality. Uh, the fact of being present uh, in all these uh, different areas uh, has helped uh, the company, has helped GMV. And uh, okay, one very recent case has been the the Corona uh, yeah. pandemics. Yeah. Uh, um, okay, it was uh, yeah four well, years ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah <laughs> so yeah. Uh, I mean, for example, in the case of uh, ITS, uh, this is a market uh, where we suffered a lot uh, from the situation. But the fact yeah. of uh, having diversified along the years mm. uh, what GMV could offer uh, to the world and to the market into different um, areas, I think uh, has been something very good, uh, really, to go through this um, critical situation mm. and, uh, okay, to, to leave it, uh, okay, growing a lot and uh, even uh, stronger than before. Yeah, so uh, yeah, I think yeah, yeah. Uh, this is another aspect which can be considered when speaking well, about this. Of course, this is one, one of the advantages when you are di doing diversification. Yeah, yeah. We so, uh, but I hope that this uh, can be this way for many, many years ahead. Yeah. So, yeah. And, and for me, the, the point is that we need challenge. We need challenge, we need uh, people that like challenge, and from here everything will come uh, yeah. like this. Then even the diversification will be part of this challenge. Because you identify an area in which you would like to be. I believe we are living uh, a revolution uh, now uh, in terms of technology, and uh, we have the right ingredients in the company <laughs> to yes, face yes. this revolution. So, yes, uh, yes. yeah, for uh, okay, nah, we have other 40 years or... Uh, Many, many more. We yeah? have in front of us a brilliant future, I believe.